Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. If we want to use a web server to serve up our ks.cfg file, then we're going to need to configure a web server to do that. Now I'm going to use IIS. You don't have to use IIS. It can be any web server. I'm going to go to the Start menu, Administrative Tools, launch my Internet Inf Information Services Manager, and I've got a default website here. And you can see I've already put my ks.cfg file on this website. If I go to the Properties of the website, go to Home Directory, I can see exactly where the root of this website is. Now, it doesn't have to be at the root of the website. It can be in, a, in another folder or you know anywhere so that it's accessible by the website because as we'll see we're going to specify the whole path to get to the ks.cfg file so I'm just going to cancel out just explore go to my C drive inet pub www root and you can see there it is so I just copied it over to here and I can see it in IIS the next thing we need to do is configure IIS to serve up pages that have a .cfg extension. By default, it won't do this. That's a security feature. It will only serve up pages that it knows it should serve up. So to configure this, I'm going to right click on our website, go to Properties. I'm going to go to HTTP Headers. Click on MIME Types. And we're going to add a new MIME type. So I'm going to type in .cfg for the extension. And for the MIME type, it's going to be text slash plain. Click OK. Click OK again. OK one more time. And now we're going to want to test this. I'm going to go ahead and open up Internet Explorer. And I'm going to type in the IP address of this server, which is 110, then a slash, then ks.cfg and if you put your ks.cfg file somewhere else you're going to need to type the full path to get to it hit enter and it should ask me to open it in some sort of program if you get some kind of message that it can't access it well then you've got a configuration issue and your ESX installer won't be able to access it either so if I hit open there it is I can see it so everything's working with my web server now we can go over to our installer and configure it to pull the file from our web server.